Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? T. Walsh here, and today I'm back with another podcast. Welcome to Hitmakers. This is a little bit different because I actually hopped on The Real O Show, which is my friend Zachary and Joshua's podcast, and we're going to be talking about universal music versus TikTok, the hottest thing in music right now. We're talking about it, breaking it down, and I even have a really crazy like conspiracy theory fact that I throw in at the end that uh, is, is something that nobody's really talking about, so I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy the boys, you enjoy the podcast, be sure to check them out. Their links are going to be the first thing in the description to their show and their socials. Be sure to give them a follow. Let them know that I sent you and be sure to follow this podcast on your preferred podcasting platform. UMG owns what? Maybe 25% of Spotify. Are we going to see Spotify start to integrate short form video on their platform with Ooh, this? That's interesting. I'm even a little bit more hesitant to use these sounds behind my videos because it's, if that gets muted, my video gets muted. It's about to get ugly with TikTok. Yo, my page is f***ed because... About to get all this dope, ain't no fuck niggas know I swear to God we the ghost, this ain't the story they told Man, if you know, then you know I never had to tell my dogs that we on roof for breaks They pay for getters, they want money more than they want Welcome to The Real O Show, I'm Zachary And I'm Joshua, and we're brothers chasing the curiosities of our life And today we are going to deep dive why Universal took their music off TikTok And we have our expert joining, Tyler Walsh Tyler Give us a 10,000 foot view on what's going on with Universal and TikTok, and then we'll start to really dive into it. Word. Yeah. Appreciate you guys having me on. Of course, as always. The boys, the boys, we're back, baby. Um, what up, everybody? My name is Tyler. But to get right into it, um, yeah, so basically, uh, Universal and TikTok have a music licensing agreement where it says, hey, you know, you can use our catalog of all these artists from Drake, Ice Spice, Bad Bunny, BTS, and it basically allows people to use their music on TikTok. And now with the pressure that came with that, uh, they couldn't reach an agreement. And UMG kind of was just like, yo, we're not going to be bullied by TikTok is what they said. And vice versa, obviously TikTok said the same thing back and they ended up removing their catalog from TikTok. Who do you think actually is doing the bullying? Because in my eyes, I feel like Universal has more power than TikTok. Maybe I'm wrong. Definitely. Um, I think they both are. I mean, they both have leverage. To, yeah, they both to, have leverage. Yeah. Um, because it's super interesting. Do you uh, think that that def defers? Like, I kind of to get more in the weeds of it. Does it defer someone that wants to be an artist? Like, say they have a bunch of labels reaching out to them, and Universal is one of them. Is this one of the things that you're just like, well, my music came to be on TikTok? And I'm not to say yeah. like TikTok is gonna make or, or break an artist, but you look at a lot of these people, like it can push your music pretty 100%, hard. Yeah. So it's like, what do you think that's gonna be like a deferring factor or do you think this is gonna be like wrapped up so fast it's not really gonna play out i think right definitely right? in the meantime it'll be a deferring factor from artists that have like you know deals on the table uh especially like you said if they if they blew up on tiktok or you know their songs going viral right now um yeah it's just uh it's interesting i think it will be wrapped up hopefully within the next like everybody keeps saying 30 days but who knows how long oh, it'll 30 last. Days. Definitely, it, no i think it, 30 days is about we this is where I'm at. They both have leverage, right? We've kind of discussed that a little bit. I think TikTok has more leverage because of the users, because of the interface, because of how viral it is, where Universal is going to be missing out on the album sales, the artist exposure, and then the artists are going to be pushing Universal to get back onto the platform because of the virality of the platform. I think that's what's being missed here Especially, is the artists yeah. are actually getting hurt more than the label and more than TikTok. But that's what I was going to say. The, it's not the label that's getting hurt. Like Universal does a million different things. It's not just yeah. like music, like the artists, like in, in, let's just think about it. They have probably five to 10 artists that like really sell their other artists are just, you know, trying to sell. Yeah. I mean, for Universal, they have the biggest market share in music right now. I mean, they have the biggest artists have blown up on TikTok and removing their catalog definitely takes a hit. And I'm, Curious to see if that market share goes down, you know, by next quarter and nothing's resolved. Uh, is there going to be pressure with like the board of UMG? It's like, yo, we got to get back. On Does TikTok. Taylor Swift have her distribute? Uh, yeah, it, she's on. So, yeah, so she's basically took out the Drake, artist. Drake, Taylor Swift, Bad Bunny. The yep. weekend. Olivia, the weekend. Olivia, Olivia Rod Rod Oh my God. Olivia Rodriguez. That's yeah. five massive, like yeah. massive artists. You go on Ice Spice's account now, all of her audios are muted because yeah. they're all just. I mean, we were just talking about Drew Wells, who's like, you know, Drake just redid his whole trend. I was looking at his, his page yeah. and it's like he had to make a statement. He was like, yo, my page is fucked because. Well, they took all the Drake off, and every single one of his our videos. Jay Prince video got muted. Yeah, that we <laughs> had some Drake guy, he got muted. I mean, it's so. it's kind of crazy. I, I wonder. I've made a few videos in the past for like 
different, like even like 137 that I'm like, hmm, I use Drake in some of the snippets just for like a little bit. Like are yeah. those removed? I don't even know. But they were a year ago and they did very well. So I'm like, yeah, just one, a waste of video. One thing I'm curious about, and it, Tyler, you might not have an answer. It's kind of open up for discussion here, but are we going to see this happen more? With social media, with social media platforms, with these music labels, with these artists, because of how important their music is for these platforms, mm-hmm. it goes both ways, right? For yeah. the users, it's important. For yeah. the artists, it's important. Yeah. Are we gonna start seeing this more? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I, I'm thinking about like the two other major labels. Obviously, there's a lot of like independent out there, but um independence out there i'm thinking of like warner and sony warner specifically has a strategic partnership with tiktok where they let even brands use their song in the commercial library some of their catalog um and i also think about the other platforms like instagram and youtube snapchat like what are they paying like if their music isn't if umg's catalog isn't pulled off there i assume that they're paying more it's got me thinking okay what is umg actually paying or was umg actually getting paid i was just thinking about that same thing like it like I go on Meta, I can still get a Drake song. Mm-hmm. So I'm just curious, like what? How is it that different that you know, like YouTube, TikTok, or YouTube, Instagram, uh, Snapchat can pay enough, but TikTok is like no. So TikTok must really think like they are. They something. must. They, they must. Be it like, must be the market share. It must be the yes, users. It must be the be virality. Something. It must be the way they have their metrics set up that pushes the song. Like if it goes viral on TikTok, it's acts gonna go viral on radio on the charts on youtube on face like it, mm-hmm. it definitely seems like tiktok pushes everything else and we've seen it in you know our line of work where it's like people go viral on tiktok and then it's like brand deal this brand deal that tour this tour that merch mm-hmm. deal this like everything seems to stem off of tiktok tiktok left definitely knows that and universal def- definitely knows that but my point is and how i've kind of looked at it as like we obviously make content and, and Walsh, I don't know if you've thought about this, but like when we do our shorts and how you can put any song behind it, specifically on Facebook, because if, if you monetize on Facebook, you can't monetize the video that you use like a, like a, any, song, any, any song, song, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've even thought about it on YouTube or on Instagram or even on TikTok where it's like, I, my goal isn't to like monetize the platforms because I don't think that's how you like actually like build a business. Cause then you're kind of handcuffed to that platform, mm-hmm. which we see content creators and artists all the time get handcuffed to the platforms. So I've even, and like the universal things kind of even sparked this where I'm like putting these songs behind my video, just like I said, the J Prince video got muted. Like I'm even a little bit more hesitant to use these sounds behind my videos because it's, if that gets muted, my video gets muted Mm -hmm. and then it completely stops. And my, in the J Prince video that we've had, I made that thing seven months ago and it's been going viral the last three months. I think that's a, that's a, that's a platform problem. And I was just saying that to Zachary, this is a different, that's a different issue because that's a platform problem because you made the video, you put it on their platform and then on their platform, you added a song. It should not mute your whole video because but you the, added a song. Does. I know, but that's a platform problem that TikTok will fix. Like if this universal thing doesn't happen and they have, they have a hundred million videos that are now muted on their platform that they, like, it's a problem for TikTok. Like TikTok knows that like they have to, at some point you just, they'll just remove the song add the original sound back on the video and that's what it should be because at the end of the day it's fine you can you can replace a song on tiktok with go some, back and do it yeah yeah so it's like muted audio like tap here to replace because okay, I've, so I've done that for a few of the videos of mine that's, that a, that's got to be a new that's got to be a new feature because as of recently like, i mean a couple months ago you couldn't even like edit anything in it you couldn't even edit the caption on a tiktok video i mean mm-hmm. you probably still might not be able to but it's still it's it's kind of a little ridiculous but have you thought about that at all with like your videos with the, any trending sounds or music? And maybe you just have yeah. recently thought about this, but I'm saying even like before this, have you thought about how like you can get muted, you can get the yeah, copyright now, strike, all of that? Yeah, especially with like, like for me personally, like a lot of the labels reach out to collab like with their artists on TikTok. It's like, how am I going to do that now if I can't even show them what their music is, you know? And I'd like, is the, you know, if this last song like also like is a marketing department? At, at Universal can get slashed where like everybody loses their job because of this, you know? Yeah, that's, that's, it's yeah, that's definitely, think about. definitely yeah. real. But yeah, now I'm just more cognizant of like, all right, when an artist reach, reaches out or their team reaches out, whoever, like, all right, what label are they on? Like, what's their situation? Like, 
I, I definitely have to factor that in now. And, and, and then I want to, as we kind of wrap up here, because we've kind of hit on the platforms, we've hit on the label. Let's talk more about the artist, because that's who I think is getting more affected, because yeah. at the end of the day, Universal is going to be good without TikTok. TikTok will most likely be good without Universal. But these artists, specifically, like, not the Drake, Taylor Swift, Bad Bunny, like, they're going to be fine without TikTok. But these other artists that are signed, that are still trying to emerge, that are on their way up, how are they going to be affected from this? Yeah, I mean, they just have to think about new distribution methods, right? Like, I've seen some artists are upset about it, and publicly they're like, my music's off TikTok, and I'm sure they're reworking, like, how they're going to do it. But their main driver, their main top funnel's gone. They can't even, like, you know, they can't even post a snippet on TikTok and see where things go. So they can even post, a t like, a snippet. Like, I just saw, like, Leroy, right? He just posted, like, a little teaser of a couple singles. He couldn't even do that. That's not even like a release song. Technically, it's just like... It might depend on what type of situation they're in where it's like, right. does Universal own their publishing? If so, then we'll probably get taken down. Yeah. But it also depends wow. also on the on the, on the the content, like uh, like how they monitor it, you know? Right. So I'm, I'm not sure how that, uh, how that works. Well, this even goes back to why you should be posting and active on majority than just one platform. 100%. At the end of the day, like, if you have a big following on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, it hurts, but at least you have the other ones. Where there's a ton, and, and you know it, Walsh, there's a ton of artists that all they do is TikTok. Yeah. And all they do is focus on TikTok. And it's like, you know, they have a couple million on TikTok, but they have 5K on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that are really going to be hurt and really panicked by this. So like my advice for any artist or even just content creator, anybody who makes content of any kind, you got to be active on all platforms. Like it matters at this point because when you, when you're handcuffed to a platform, this can happen. Yeah. You're at it's the mercy like, of it. It's just like if you're handcuffed to a job. Right. So if we, if we said to summarize this whole thing, yeah. right. So TikTok, universal, they're kind of parting ways at the moment. Mm -hmm. Right now you think it's going to be fixed within the next 30 days. Could be fixed. Finger, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. This be in the next thirty days, and if not, you think that future is people are just going to change how they're distributing things, or there's going to be some other layer to mm -hmm. this outside of that that you don't know, or you're kind of like uh, speculating yeah. on it. Like I, to me, it's just like I think this is a wave, and this is just me personally. Is all these artists are going to go to YouTube, and I, it's it's crazy to say, right? Yeah. But a lot of art, young artists that I'm seeing, they're on yeah. TikTok and they don't mess with YouTube. It's like, I'll I mean, Google an artist and they got fucking nothing. They don't even have like, they'll be like, oh, well, I don't shoot music videos. I think it's like, you should, they don't need to shoot a music video. Do a, a little picture with lyrics playing yeah. the whole time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, anything. One thing too that like I'm thinking about is like, UMG owns what maybe twenty five percent of Spotify. Are we going to see Spotify start to integrate short form video on their platform? With Ooh, this? that's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that's super. Interesting. That's a good yeah. little nugget. That's a good take. To leave yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Even yeah. even even that, and I and I because you brought up a good point because I think it's important to put here. And I'm going to plug my favorite artists, Rod Wave, Tuzi, even Young Blue. They've been for the last couple years only releasing music for YouTube, and I've always been like, why would you just put it on YouTube and not on Apple Music or not on Spotify? you know, you can get it on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff. But I'm like, why wouldn't you release that to these other platforms? And I think that goes back to what Joshua said, where maybe they're more comfortable with YouTube. Maybe they're just trying to drive their YouTube, build up their YouTube because they know you have to only go there for that song. So it'll be interesting how the, yeah, all that plays out. Definitely. I also, uh, I want to say this too, because I feel like it's interesting and nobody's talking about it. So you guys kind of get the the first time I'm saying this publicly, but I think I, I spoke with you about this last week off camera, but one thing that's super interesting. So UMG CEO, Sir Lucian Grange, uh, you know, he's, he's running the show. He's doing his thing. One of the best music CEOs of all time. His son, Elliot Grange runs 10 K projects, which is the label to trippy red ice spice. Um, all these incredible artists, Ian Dior, and their whole business model has been influencer marketing. It's getting these influencers to play music. And that, that is, is evident with uh, their acquisition and building out homemade projects, which is like their influencer agency, mm -hmm. talent representation. What happened back in September 2023 was 
uh, 10K Projects left Universal to go to Warner that has a strategic partnership with TikTok. So I'm thinking in my head, did him, did Lucian tell his son, hey, it's about to get ugly with TikTok. You should go somewhere else because their whole business model relies on influencers and TikTok. Interesting. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. It's, a little... it's not even a, it's not like a theory, but it's yeah. just, it's just like very evident. It's like, Hey, this is the situation. I, mean, I would imagine would... a father would tell a son that something's kind of going on under the surface. Yeah, and, it, it, and it's not like this TikTok stuff just happened overnight. It's yeah. obviously been boiling over. Yeah. For they've been negotiating months, on, yeah. on that deal for, for probably a year now. Yeah, I was gonna you know? say, it's, it's, so it's it, been a while. It's been a while, but Walsh, we yeah, appreciate, appreciate you coming you. on appreciate and breaking this down. It's, me. it's a little complicated topic because it's it's kind of new it's really the first time at least i'm seeing of it with these platforms and these music labels but if you made it this far drop a like leave a comment subscribe share with somebody else go follow walsh before we go actually plug your social medias yeah so all, all my socials are at trwlsh it's like tr walsh but no no uh no vowels so just no. amazing amazing go go check out walsh and we have more to come more music breakdowns to come but we appreciate it till next time for my brothers for my family for my mama for i got my a friend, king, my brothers, i got a stack of this gold i tell you i'm on a roll about to get all this dope Ain't no fuck niggas know I swear to God we the ghosts This ain't the story they told Man if you know then you know I never had to tell my dogs And we on roof of brains They pay